Hey guys, Mark Daly here. I was praying yesterday and a couple of things occurred to me and I wanted to share them with you really to encourage you and strengthen you in your faith. It has to do with the times we're living in and David versus Goliath. You see, David didn't lean into or on his own strength and ability, but on his covenant, his relationship with God. He didn't compare his size to the size of Goliath, but the size of God to Goliath. See, he looked back on his experience with the lion and the bear to remind himself of God's great faithfulness to his covenant, his promises, and his people. See, it was that revelation that allowed David to run toward the fight. In today's battle with this virus, we actually have a better covenant to lean on based on better promises. Remember, David was under the old covenant, which depended on keeping the law. We have a covenant based on grace and the finished work of Christ. Christ has risen, and because of that, we are no longer mere mortals, mere humans, but new creations, literally sons and daughters of God. We are more than conquerors. That's not just a phrase. It is a truth. We are more than conquerors through Christ, the anointed one in his anointing. No disease shall come near my dwelling. See, that is a promise in Psalm 91. And remember, all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Sickness is part of the curse. Read it in Deuteronomy 28. But according to Galatians, Christ has set us free from the law of sin and death. He became a curse for us. The world is being confronted with a perceived giant. I'm speaking of the virus. At the same time, the church is being confronted with this perceived giant. And this is our opportunity to either shrink back like the world or to shine. We can either walk forward in bold faith, standing on the promises of God, or give way to fear, doubt, unbelief, and crumble just like unbelievers. Imagine for a second how the soldiers of David's time before he faced Goliath must have grumbled about the size of Goliath, how many people he has killed. Uh, he was a warrior from his youth. They talked about perhaps the size of his sword and shield. I bet it sounded a lot like our news media. If all you're doing day and night is listening to their statistics, you'll be filled with anxiety and fear. But if you choose to look into the perfect law of liberty in Christ Jesus, you will be bold as a lion. This virus has revealed the hearts of many. Are we as believers taken? with anxiety and fear? Well, it's time to evaluate the condition of our hearts. I really want you to ask yourself that question. Please use this as an opportunity to evaluate yourself. If it is not of faith, it's sin. And God does not look lightly on unbelief. Remember, the children of Israel didn't enter into the promised land an 11-day journey took over 40 years because of doubt and unbelief. If you want to take it, if you want to benefit from the promises of God, you've got to have faith in those promises. If you think this is the last challenge the world is going to face, or if you think this is the last challenge for the church, you're going to be greatly mistaken there will be more and greater challenges in the days ahead. And these will be a great opportunity to shine like stars and bring glory to God because he is faithful. So I encourage you to take this opportunity to judge yourself. If you find yourself fearful, take advantage of repentance. It's a beautiful gift for your lack of faith. Fill your heart with God's word. Build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Above all else, keep yourself in the love of God. Remember, perfect love casts out fear. And God's love for you and your family is perfect. God is looking to and fro on the earth to find someone who will simply trust him 
in difficult times. So I encourage you to be that someone. Um, take a minute and open your Bible to Psalm 91. Read that. Meditate it. Don't be in a hurry. It will encourage you and it will give you promises to lock on to during these difficult times. God bless you.